A common tactic Darkside Phil uses to justify his berating of someone in chat is to liken his operation to that of a small business. If you ran a small business and you kept having this asshole come in saying, how's the gout, you would get annoyed and toss him out, right? This is a typical manipulation strategy, as there's nothing immediately wrong with that justification. On a case-by-case -case basis of this excuse, there are plenty of flaws in that reasoning. But I won't be going over those times to use that excuse. I'll be going over the other side of the coin. If we continue to compare Darkside Phil to a small business, we see again how limitlessly awful he is. I've compiled five cases of behaviors that would see a small business tank. Four are within mere weeks of each other, and one is eternal. I'll provide videos of the events. Let's start going into the first behavior. Since DSP first started on YouTube, he has done the following behavior. The video is very old, but nothing has changed. You will see it every other stream. I just want to say thanks a lot to everyone. Um, I hope to entertain you in the future. Please go to my partner channel, The King of Hate HD, and click on the ads that show up on the videos there because hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, that actually starts giving me some, some money back for what I'm doing. I mean, it's not cheap to do what I'm doing. I bought a lot of games, a lot of equipment, and now I have my own condo, which is basically my studio, to do whatever the hell I want. So, you know, anything that you can give back is much appreciated. A small business I will use for every example is the small bookstore. I find that it works best to parallel Philo's behaviors. If you went into a bookstore and the owner came up to you and said, Yeah, dude, the business isn't cheap. I spent a lot of money on inventory, shelving, like the light bulbs, the permits, and licensing. So I'm really going to need to see some contributions. You would walk out. Any business owner doesn't tell the people in their store about all their operational costs. I have a friend who runs a business. and In all the years I've known him, he's never spoken about operational costs ever. Even the business going through the hardest times doesn't do this because it's shameful and essentially advertising through pity. And DSP does this every other stream. I had to buy a lot of games and a new camera and I need to pay my internet bill. Countering DSP's argument, he would level, I'm just being real, I'm just being honest. So every business owner who doesn't announce over the intercom, yeah, I paid for all this around you so someone needs to pay up, is dishonest and not being real? Just because it's what you want to say doesn't make it something you should say. This is first grade stuff, man. Second behavior, bubble incident. For context, DSP does his really childish gimmick where for every hundred likes he gets on a stream, he blows bubbles with his bubble solution and wand. Thrilling, engaging, rewarding even. He started this himself. He chose to implement this himself. So one day, Philo's getting bonked and bopped on Street Fighter, and we get the following events. These clips are taken from the same stream, but with the segments unrelated to the bubble fiasco removed. Can't you do anything? Shut the fuck up about the fucking bubbles before I take away the bubbles forever. People being little bitches in the chat. I'm trying to learn how to play a fucking game. Shut the fuck up and act older than five fucking years old about the goddamn bubble. You fucking idiot. God damn, how stupid and young can you be to act like that? Shut up. Now I can't see, now I can't play. What am I supposed to do now? Now I can't do anything. You fucking idiots will shut up. Fucking bubble. Oh look, the hottest new fighting game's out. Who's trying to learn it? So what fucking bubbles for 45 minutes? Shut up! I'm supposed to learn how to play this fucking game with these fucking idiots acting like this in the chat. Seriously. Ha <laughs> ha! Seriously. I'm supposed to learn a new fighting game. Bubbles, where's the bubbles? Where's the fucking bubble? You take the bubbles and shut them up your fucking ass. How about that? How about this? No more fucking bubbles. How about that? I'm just not doing them anymore. Because I can't concentrate and act like an adult with a bunch of people screaming for bubbles like little idiots. Jesus Christ. Seriously, I'm just so tired of you right now. It's like, now, I don't want to like, I don't, yo. We can't help, we can't have fun on a stream of films because it's all about fucking bubbles and shit. Shut up. Seriously, man. I just want to have fun. I can't. I literally lost that match because I can't concentrate because you idiots are fucking making me rage about bubbles. The dumbest thing. What idiotic thing to say. Anyway, thank you, Feline Tech Support, for two super chats. I'm mad and I want to end on a win, and I can't. As you can see, I literally cannot end on a win tonight because I'm all raging now because of this stupid shit. Thank you, Feline Tech Support, for two, t two different super chats. Well, thank you, Snorlaxing, for the $2 tip. And, I, you know, I'm sorry I lose my cool when you get, uh, you know, a couple people who are idiots because they're here every stream doing that same shit. You know what I'm saying? They're in here every stream. Now, obviously, this is a competitive stream. This is something I'm trying to learn a game. It's very hard to learn. 
because not only is it just fundamentals of Street Fighter, but you have these new systems you're trying to learn. Brand new characters who move sets. I'm trying to absorb. I only have three days to play this. And I'm trying to absorb as much as humanly possible. And I look back at the chat and for the last, like, hour. Bubbles. 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 Every fucking other word. Out of the people in the chat. Bubbles. Bubbles. Are you fucking four? Why would you act like that? Shut the fuck up. I think you can understand where I'm coming from. This is not a late night chill stream where we're just chatting it up and having a casually good time. And then you, okay, oh, can I have some bubbles, you know? <clears throat> yes, you can. Because we're just not doing anything but talking and playing a slow game. When I'm trying to learn a game like this, you shut the fuck up and stop spamming the chat with nonsense. And by the way, they only did it because there's no mod in there right now. Because you see, right now there's no mod. So I gotta, you know, I gotta fucking do with, deal with it, right? It's like, oh my god. You drive me nuts. <laughs> bubbles, bubbles. Here, I, I never, I, at this rate, I literally never want to see bubbles ever again. Seriously, I never want to see these ever again. I'm gonna fucking throw them out. So I don't ever have to ask for it again like that. Like, that drives me nuts, man. Oh. There's a lot to unpack with this one. First, I want to say DSP has an insane amount of insecurity that is secretly displaying a downfall he has here. His eyes are almost constantly glued to that chat. Is someone insulting me? Are they cheering for me? Are they saying something that hurts my feelings? Are they laughing at me? Do I want them to laugh at me? Better have my eyes glued to that damn chat. He is constantly looking over and seeing people ask for the bubbles that he himself made his gimmick. The parallel is this bookstore has a rough layout like this. DSP is trying to move a bunch of heavy boxes by himself from the loading dock to the storeroom. Each time he passes through the main floor. On this main floor are a bunch of people here for a giveaway or whatever. And each time he passes through, they cheer for the giveaway that is supposed to start soon. These boxes are heavy and like, shaped weird. And he got frustrated, like anyone would. So naturally he screams at everyone in the main room, shut up about the damn giveaway. I'm trying to load stuff in the storeroom and you all are distracting me like small children. No giveaway. That's the end of that. No one's coming back after that. And the solution is clear here as it is in his own case. Go through the door to the storeroom from the loading dock. Turn away from your laptop. Or turn the laptop itself away. It is clearly distracting you. Wait until after your salty ass match to make good on your promise. But naturally his insecurity is too high. He needs to see what people are saying. DSP, they can wait. DSP counter response, those aren't real supporters. They're just there to annoy me. This will be his rebuttal to most of these points. To that can be said, you don't know that, and it doesn't matter. Businesses put up with a ton of annoying people. DSP is probably one of them. Many of these people might not even be customers. Businesses still don't act like how Phil does. Look at how much undue patience Karen's receive. Is it right? Sometimes not. Sometimes customers are shitty and should get tossed out. But businesses save that for a last resort, whereas DSP will screech at you to go to hell if you ask for more toilet paper in the restroom because you aren't a real customer, so get the hell out. Third behavior. At a recent podcast, I mean diatribe, I mean sermon, I mean prattling session, someone sent in some feedback, and DSP mustered up all his maturity to give a fitting response. Thomas Green said the following, okay? It's redundant going over your schedule daily. You already have shorts. You post it on your Twitter and your community tab. Do you think that we have memory problems? <clears throat> excuse me, allow me to translate for the rest of you in layman's terms, because I know this is very complex language, all right, and maybe it's hard to understand at first. So allow me to put this through the internet filter translator. me. <clears throat> Thank you, Thomas, for the super chat and the intelligent discourse. Um, everyone likes the schedule on the pre-stream because it allows me to update it on the fly. A lot of the times we change it. A lot of the times between last night and the morning, things have changed. There's game announcements. There's shuffling around. There's developments. There's poll results. I'll keep it on the show because I run the podcast, not you. You can run your own podcast, you know, the Thomas Green Show. Go for it. I hope it becomes the most popular podcast among your three friends. Okay. A common mantra from Philo is how much he's changed from his past self. This is and always has been nonsense. DSP has always had nothing but anger and vitriol to criticism, no matter how benign. 
even if the comment was a little pointed, even if completely respectful, doesn't matter. You're getting it. Upgrade my camera quality? Upgrade getting the hell out of my stream. Don't burp into the mic. There's the door, asshole. Start your stream on time. Eat shit. You're at the bookstore. You've been there a few times this week. Each time you see the owner, the owner regales you with the release dates of new books coming soon. He's told you four times since the beginning of the week. Or to be more accurate, he goes on the PA announcement several times and rattles off the releases. And it isn't a recording. No, 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 son. You're going to get him burping, lip smacking, and tea posing throughout. And there are signs everywhere at the schedule. Front door, cash register, several places in between. On his website, everything. You see the owner and say, this seems kind of redundant to keep repeating the schedule. To which the owner imitates a baby, equates it with you, shames you for your criticism, and then implies you have no friends. I genuinely think a lot of customers would come to blows over this. And that behavior would be rightly documented online. People would record that shit. And people who witnessed it would discreetly leave the building. No, Philo. That is inappropriate behavior. He must have this confused with Elbow Room Cafe. Elbow Room Cafe was this restaurant in Canada that would have the staff make fun of or yell at their customers as their gimmick. But you always knew it wasn't fun, and they would stop if it upset you. DSP thinks this is an actual business model. DSP, do you think other businesses don't get feedback? Do you think they don't think the feedback is dumb? In this case, it isn't. The guy was absolutely correct. Business owners and managers regularly have to hear inane comments and suggestions. You know what they do? They grit their teeth and say, Thank you for your feedback. I will see how we incorporate that in the future. And then when they're driving home, they talk shit about you. A mature adult would understand this. The fourth behavior. This one isn't as egregious, but it's still incredibly bad public relations. For context, here on screen is the comment that was sent into Philo through a super chat or super think, whatever, doesn't matter. When I click your PayPal link and try to send a tip, PayPal sends a prompt asking me why I'm paying you. Is that right? Doesn't seem like it. DSP has been banned from Streamlabs and Stream Elements and requires his supporters to go through avenues they might not have a whole lot of practice with. So how did DSP respond to this request for assistance and clarity? Probably thinking of the super chat. What are you talking about? It sends you a prompt saying, why are you paying? Because you're sending a tip. So you leave the message. You say, hi, this is Ralphie. And I just want to say, you know, I want to support you. Here you go. Enjoy. That's what that's for. Like, your question is incredibly ridiculous. I don't even know what you're saying. There's no question. Uh, for what reason would you be sending me something via PayPal? Because you're tipping me. So say that. <laughs> That's your message to me that I read on the stream. It's not that complicated. Okay. <clears throat> DSP is hardwired to assume the worst of anyone and anything. Everyone is an idiot, a troll, a detractor, a careless dunce, not a real fan, etc., etc. This guy's question was apparently insanely absurd and needed to be rebuked. You're at the bookstore. You've managed to dodge the owner's wrath this whole time. You're paying on the card reader, and a box comes up that is not immediately clear. You ask the owner what it means, and the owner remarks, You press the green button to select payment. Your confusion is stupid. It isn't that complicated. Well, cancel my transaction then, dickhead. You don't talk to people like that, especially the ones you seek money from. And maybe it is a dumb question. Maybe it is something that should be obvious. Going with the prior behavior's point, you think owners and managers don't hear a lot of questions they think are dumb? You don't think they have to answer where the bathrooms are by pointing two meters to the side? Do they lay a bastard for it? Should they? They probably want to. If he went to Fred Meyers and asked where the cherry gin was while standing next to it, and the clerk told him that he was blind, DSB would demand the clerk be fired and flogged. And finally, behavior five. This one occurred while I was writing this script, demonstrating that Philo can't go a few days without being a terrible business owner. While crying for money playing a game that his viewers voted for, someone brought up a legit explanation for why DSP wasn't seeing the green roll in. Yes, thank you, Dig McCloud, who's basically being a dark cloud saying, oh, economy is down, inflation is up, everything's terrible. Yes, I heard this a million times. I also heard this during COVID. Yes, I always heard, I also heard this during uh, everything. I, you, you guys, just, you're, you're a broken record. No, the point is not that everything is down or more expensive. Yes, you're right. I mean, that's that's just fucking common sense. That has absolutely nothing to do with people asking for a game, right? Saying they'll support it and then, and then you know, having slow days. That has nothing to do with it. We've already talked about this a million times. I'm not going to waste my time talking about the nonsense yet again for the millionth time. Because as you know, guys, just so you know, 
because the economy is down and inflation is up. No one is supporting streamers right now. There absolutely are not any streamers right now who are streaming who are getting insane amounts of contributions from dummies. You know, none of that's happening. No. Didn't you know there's a giant streamer crash right now? Did you hear about it? It's all over the news. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It's, it's, it's insane nonsense trying to justify bullshit. No, you're an idiot. You're completely wrong. That's not what's happening. Now you always hear this bo baloney from people who don't want to like, they just want to be negative. I mean, oh yeah, the reason that no one supported today is because of inflation. Like, no, no stupid. Yeah, yes, because I, I definitely heard about how no one's supporting any streamers right now, right? So that's, you know, totally a common thing. <laughs> of course, Hero. He says they for sure say stuff, stuff like that in your streams to rile you up. Of course, because it's just nonsense. This is complete idiocy. Yes, that's right. Because prices are currently up. Right? Which I agree with. I think we're all feeling that. The economy is down. Not yet, but apparently we're going to have one. I've heard six to nine months. Apparently in six to nine months, we're going to have a giant economic crash. As opposed to basically all of our leaders being completely inept at what they do and ruining everything because they don't know how to lead um, <clears throat> through crises. So, yeah. I mean, yes, all that is definitely going to happen. But last time I heard, Twitch wasn't going out of business. YouTube wasn't closing its doors. Here, here's the thing, and this is the truth. People will actually spend more on this kind of entertainment than they will on others. Because this you can easily just stay home and do. You don't have to spend money to drive somewhere to do it. You know what I'm saying? It's just easy. Sit at home. All your normal stuff that you already have. You don't have to go out of your way. You don't have to drive anywhere, travel anywhere. You can still have enjoyment. And people will support it. You know? You gotta be kidding. No, what'll happen is, in a bad economy, everyone stops spending more. Oh, wow. The whole place is falling apart. Everyone stops spending stuff stop spending money on expensive things, right? So, for example, you're not going to buy an expensive car, an expensive home. You're not going to make that investment into a giant piece of technology now. You know what I mean? You're going to be doing things that are less expensive. Like, I'm just going to stay home and watch streams all day and toss someone five bucks to make keep that going. It's the complete opposite of what people want to say just because they're, they're idiotic. They want to try to justify okay. anything. No, no facts. Are you all right? No actual thought. There is so much to unpack here. DSP has an incredible gift at being wrong about things. He has a 230% incorrect rate, because many times he's double, even triple incorrect. But let's put the debunking of his delirium aside for this video. Let's focus on the behavior. Dude reminds Philo that the world exists outside of his pig pen, and the economy isn't doing that hot. His reaction is anger. The owner of the bookstore calls over the BA, I need money for my day off tomorrow. You all said you wanted me to stock horror novels, and you jerks aren't buying. Well, it gives. Give me money now. Some brave sap speaks up, saying, Money is tight right now. People can't purchase books right now. Oh boy, howdy. The owner starts ranting and raving that people are still going to Walmart or going to movies, and that he doesn't charge that much. And that it is no excuse. And in fact, more people should come and give him money. Even if that is how you truly feel, you as a business owner can't go yelling that in your business. There's decorum, there's maturity, there's gritting your teeth and persevering in silence. If I were in a business browsing around and I saw the owner having such a fit, I'd probably not shop there, especially when he gets to calling people idiots. Sorry about your business, bro. I'll get my books from someone who isn't having a tantrum in his 40s. There's a million more moments that I could go over, but this was more than enough. I know that if Phil were to ever become aware of these arguments, he would try to justify it until he was blue in the face, but no. When you were doing your bankruptcy, you classified your operation as a business. When you justify tossing people out, you claim your business. When you're begging for money, you claim your business. So you'll be judged in kind as a business.